At the end of the day, however, our job is to fill that beautiful building next door that the city of Glendale owns and we have the honor to manage. Now, my background is in sales and marketing as, marketing, as Jerry indicated. And one thing that you learn when you become a salesperson is the expression, fish where the fish are. There is no question that we have a very devoted and resilient fan base here, but there's also no question that we have to grow that fan base. And as we all know, the biggest advantage that we have in this market is we are a destination. People want to be here. And we also know that one of the biggest exporters of the tourism market happened to be from Canada and the northern states. Good hockey people, God love them. <laughs> now, I've used the joke many times that in the winter months, the Phoenix area, the greater Phoenix metropolitan area, becomes the third largest city in Alberta. <laughs> but the reality is, it's not a joke. Over 500,000 Canadians from Alberta and British Columbia alone spend the winter here in Arizona. Put that into perspective. The city of Winnipeg has just over 600,000 people, and they have a full arena every night to watch their hometown Jets. So just think about that. We know that when the teams from Calgary and Edmonton and Vancouver are in town, we have a full building. The, ch the challenge, but quite frankly, we feel the opportunity, is to turn those fans into Coyotes fans as well. We need to provide those fans with an environment that is, it is enjoyable and it makes them want to return to a game when their favorite team is not playing. And ultimately, we need those people to start viewing the Coyotes as their second favorite team. I truly don't care, and I mean this sincerely, I don't care tonight when the Flames are in town if people are cheering for the Flames, as long as they've, they've done two things for me. One, they bought their ticket. Two, they actually think about the concept of coming back to see a game when the Flames aren't in town. Now, the other real opportunity for us is not simply to focus on fans that are here on a long-term basis or winter here, but also look at the fans who would explore coming to Arizona for a weekend to watch a hockey game and stay in our hotels and eat in our restaurants. This is the biggest single opportunity for all of us in this room. And the story is a fairly easy one to sell when you just look at the economics. Now, it's no secret that the Coyotes have the lowest average ticket price in the National Hockey League. Having that said, we do expect that to change. And the fact that the average ticket price has gone up by 17% year over year shows we're going in the right direction. However, we also need to embrace the fact that we do offer a very value-driven economical ticket compared to other franchises. But it is the level of disparity between our ticket prices and that of other clubs, particularly the northern clubs, that highlights the real opportunity for us. Now, as I mentioned, the Coyotes do have an average ticket price that has gone up by 17%, so I don't expect this to be the case always, that this ticket price will be as low as it is. But our average ticket price today is $76. But look at the average ticket price for the Western Canadian teams. Winnipeg, $276. Edmonton, $272. Vancouver, $265. And Calgary, $262. This means that if a family in Calgary wants to go to attend a Flames game, a family of four, it's going to cost them just around $1,000 for tickets alone. That same game here at the Coyotes, around $300. Now, if those fans do what I would think is the wise thing, pick a weekend to come down when there are two Coyotes games over the weekend, like there is November 21st and 23rd, to come to two games, the cost savings would be somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,500. For, them to, for the family of four to go to two hockey games here versus their hometown. That cost savings will go a long way towards their hotel and their airfare. And I could say this as a Canadian, trust me when I tell you, in the winter months there are not too many Canadians that wouldn't choose spending a weekend in Arizona over a weekend in our hometowns. And ironically, as I mentioned, we have the Flames in town today and playing the Coyotes tonight. And I've spoken to a number of people over the last couple of days that came into town over the weekend caught the fantastic game that Jerry and I have talked about against Detroit on Saturday night, played some golf yesterday, played golf Sunday, going to the game tonight. Now, I've only focused in that little diatribe on the Western Canadian teams, but when you add in the northern markets, we have, over 20, we have 25 of our 41 home games against teams in markets that have one thing in common over the winter months, snow. They have snow, we don't. This isn't to say that our plan for success is to draw fans from other regions exclusively. However, we realize that we have a natural advantage that very few other clubs have. And that is the fact that we are in a market that is a destination that people want to visit. We do need to take advantage of this. And we also need to take advantage of the fact that there are, 
or sorry, take advantage of those people when their favorite teams are not in town, as I mentioned, when the non-Canadian and the non-Northern teams are here. Some examples we are exploring are to essentially copy what some other teams have done. For example, the St. Louis Blues and the Nashville Predators have, uh, like we do when the Chicago Blackhawks are in town, those buildings are sold out immediately. They've started this year that if you want a single ticket to a Blackhawks game, you have to buy a ticket to another non-premium game. That's something that Jeff and Mike Humes and I have already started exploring. Also, excuse me, why not look at trying to get Canadians in particular to games when let's say Dallas or Anaheim or LA are in town by doing things that might be enticing to a Canadian. Um, as we all know, Canadians love hockey, but if you throw in some Canadiana at a can Canadian themed game, either before or after the game, and these things may mean nothing to you, but the Canadians in the room, it will. If you offer poutine, or if you offer Tim Hortons coffee, trust me, people will get excited. As a matter of fact, Canadians won't be able to stay away. Now, we focused a fair amount of our, a significant amount of our resources, both human and cash resources, to ensure that we hit the ground running in our efforts to turn the Coyotes into a profitable venture. And the early results are incredibly positive. We launched our Hungrier Than Ever campaign, thank you to Ted Santiago, our VP of Marketing, who's here today, who, who really spearheaded that whole effort. And we've had nothing but positive feedback. Well, except out of Quebec, that we did get some negative feedback from them. And the proof of that success is in the efforts and in our numbers. While there have only been three home games so far this year, our attendance is up significantly. Suite sales are considerably higher, with suite rentals almost double from what they were last year. And corporate sponsorships are tracking towards being potentially the best year in Coyote's history. However, we know that there is much more to do, and we understand the task in front of us. We cannot, we, or sorry, we continue to, to hire, and I've mentioned Jeff uh, Miranda and Mike Humes, Avic Day's not here today. We are consistently building out our team uh, along with the great staff that we evolved, that we inherited, but our plan is to ensure that we don't have just the best team on the ice, we have the best team off the ice that can mobilize us and allow us to do what we need to do. The Coyotes have a very positive future ahead, but the reality is it will only happen if the community buys into this vision. As I mentioned in my opening, we have received tremendous support from the city and from our local partners. If you haven't been to a game yet, do yourself a favor and come. Because I promise you, if you go to one game, you will go to two games. And as I mentioned, what do you know? There's a game next door tonight, so why not start today? Thank you so much for your time this morning, and go Coyotes.